Hi guys, my name is Fred and once again welcome to Samantia Farms. As most of you know, um, I'm already in Kenya and have been visiting a lot of places, learning about the beautiful country, meeting the people. And as I always say, Kenya is so advanced when it comes to agriculture. Um, but as you know, you know, livestock farming is, is what I really care about. And it's been such mind blowing just learning all about the dairy farm and everything that we have going on in Kenya. Um, last night, I actually flew from Nairobi um, to Kisumu and now I'm in Homa Bay. If you know Kenya a little bit, I think it's on the west uh, where the river now comes in. Um, it's a beautiful place. Um, the weather is very similar to Ghana. So really enjoying it. But today as I was, you know, walking by, I, I saw this cool container that is right by me. Um, and I, I pointed out to my, my colleague who I was working with that this is such a cool container. So, you know, what is it? Because as you guys know, I already built one container. So I really love the color it stood out. And I asked, what is it? And he asked me, do you know about one acre fund? And I said, no, I don't know about one acre fund. So what we are going to do today is to come and check out one acre fund with you. If you're from Kenya, you probably know about it. But if you're from West Africa or you're watching us from anywhere in the world, you probably don't know about it. So come along with me as we go into one acre farm and learn more about what it is. Maybe it's just a container um, company. I don't know. We will find out together. <laughs> and there seems to be a gentleman. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you. Yeah, good. good. Yeah. Um, so my name is Fred yes. and um, I'm from Ghana. I have a YouTube channel called Farming in Africa right. and basically showing and sharing ideas and things about agriculture right. to everybody yes. and what I mostly do is use my farm um, to share my experiences, mistakes and right doing right. so that people sitting outside can also um, you know, learn from it. Yes. Most importantly, colleagues, friends that are out there that are looking for funds or doesn't have an idea about money or so on we share everything being very transparent so that the information is out there um we saw your container while I was driving by and yes. my colleague told me that you you work in agriculture or something yes we do. so we are here to to find out yes so okay. tell us your name okay i'm umato david david I'm, yes i'm umato david okay i'm the deputy duke officer okay currently uh, we don't have the deal Okay. But he will come with time. Okay. Now we do support uh, farmers uh -huh. by selling these products to them. Okay. It's either on credit or on cash basis. Really? Yes. On credit. Okay. Yes. Let me pull my bag down. All right. Let's let us let us talk more. Yes. Um. So so tell me, what is One Acre Fund? What okay. is it? One Acre Fund. It's an organization that uh, supports farmers. Uh huh. Um, by by giving them products they want. Uh huh. They want to plant up to their doorsteps. Okay. okay. It's they can order mm -hmm. or we deliver to them. Right? Okay. Yes, and it's a, it can be on a credit basis or okay. on cash. Okay. Yes. Through Lipa and Pesa, we have it. Okay. They can purchase goods. Okay. Yes. I'm I'm very interested about the company. This is very innovative, yes, um, yes. and I want to learn more. I think people watching me in Kenya, probably you know, probably you don't. Um, maybe somebody, you know, also in the US, you have money, you want to come support local farmers. I think this is a model that we can replicate and do in various um, villages, countries, towns. Um, is this a Kenyan owned company? No, it's a worldwide company. So, well, okay. Yes, and uh, we have some offices and some Dukas around Kenya. Okay. Almost, uh, 50 Lucas, okay. more than 50 Lucas in Kenya, yeah. and it's growing yearly. Okay. Yes. And 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 do you, what is the what is the mission, the the actual purpose behind this for, um, the organization? Mission, the mission is that to support farmers and for better productivity and wow. production in the, in the country, okay. in the world. Yes. Okay. So, I, and do you know if you're only in Kenya because I haven't seen this in Ghana or in any of the oh, West yes. African countries? It is in a. Rwanda. Yeah, That's Rwanda. where the headquarters are. Okay. That we have in Kenya. Kenya. And uh, we're also expanding in other countries. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, that that is amazing. And yes. thank you for for the work that you do. Thank so you. now let's go into how you support farmers. 
So you say you have goods yes, that you have. Uh -huh. Yes, after the farmer buying uh, the goods, after he has bought our, we do advise him on how, how to plant the goods. Okay. Uh, all the products. Okay. Like now, maize. Uh, can I show you? Yes, yes, please. We do advise how plant can plant. This to use a, let's say, planting maize now. Uh -huh. uh, in a one acre, in a one acre land, uh -huh. we use a 50 kg DAP. Okay. And we use a 10 kg of maize. Okay. So now, you use 10 kg of maize. Of maize for one acre. For one acre, yes. Okay. And uh, one 50 kg uh -huh. of DAP. Okay. After what is DAP for those who don't know? This is uh, the ammonium phosphate. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is when planting, you apply this. One. Okay. But when top dressing, you apply CN. Okay. Condition, yes. Okay. Now, when planting, we have some measurements so uh, farmers should do. Okay. Like, uh, now, let's say, maize to maize, uh -huh. that, that's length. Yeah. Uh, it should be 26. 26? Uh, 26 centimeters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. By 26 centimeters by 75. Okay. Yes. And it should be one. One, plant. one. Yes. Okay. Per hole. Per hole. Yes. Okay. And we use this measurement. Okay. Per hole. Yes. Okay. To fetch yes. it. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And do, do you apply that the moment you're putting the maize on? Yes. The, the moment you are putting the maize, uh -huh. you first of all you put the DAP. Uh huh. Then a little soil. Uh huh. Then a maize. Then a little soil. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. You levelize it. Okay. okay. That makes sense. So let's say I'm a farmer yes. in um, Homer Bay yes, yes. and I have a land. I, the, the crazy thing is also I've been seeing a lot of tractors here and that's one thing that really struck me <laughs> when I was coming. So I was like, huh, because I, I know from, from my community, we don't use tractors. Everybody go to the farm. I want to talk more about tractors. Are you, uh, are you familiar with tractors as well? Yes, tractors are those who plant on large scale. Farmers. Okay. Yes, they do plant on large scale. Farmers, they do use uh, tractors. Yeah, and is it for rent as well? So yes, if it's I have for rent. rent uh, uh, but uh, for one acre plant, we don't have the tractors to rent. Okay. But they find from somewhere else. Yeah. They prepare their land with black, then after that they plant. Oh, but your company has tractors that you rent? To farmers that are farming on a larger scale? No, I'm not that sure. Okay. But on this area, we don't have. Okay, yes. okay. But the community has tractors yeah, that they tractors. rent out. Yes. That, yeah, that, know where to rent. yeah, that's one thing I saw that I thought was very, very interesting. Yes. Uh, it told me that I was coming to a farming community, so that was a plot. Um, let, let's come back to, to, to the maize and the product. Yes. So let's say I'm a, I'm a farmer in Homer Bay. Yes. I've cleared my farm, plowed it. Yes. And I come to you, what is the process? What do I need to do? The process is that when you have a cash you want to, not, not, a, not a, you, you don't want a credit, uh -huh. you need credit form, uh -huh. you just pay, after that you get your seeds and uh, fertilizer, uh -huh. you go and plant. Okay. But if you want, uh, let's say, in a credit form, uh -huh. you talk to the field, of, we have field officers okay. in this area. Okay. You talk to them, then uh, they register you. After that, we, I get a notification. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, on mail address. Okay, after it's that, digitized. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> after that, I send you a message. Okay. And I show you, you should come for a certain day and this, this, take your product. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if and if I have money, are uh, your prices cheaper than the local market? Why Why would I come to you instead of maybe going to the local market? Just curious. <laughs> yes, that's another challenge. Mm -hmm. We get some agro either they are expensive or cheap on their products, but to us it's a standard. Like yeah. one acre fund in Kakamega in whatever. It's a standard form. Okay. And uh, we do. It, it's a quality. According to the response yeah. about uh, our farmers, they yeah. say it's a quality. We have quality products. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, so I come on a credit basis, and yes. you say I go to um, a field officer will go with me. Yes. I'll do the registration. After that, yes. And then you will get a notification on your computer. Yes. Saying that. A farmer, my name is Red, um, has registered and he qualified. Yes. Um, and then I come here and I get seeds and fertilizer. Yeah. Yes, you come with your ID mm -hmm. so that uh, to avoid that uh, in condition. Of course. You of come course. with the ID, I yeah. see you, I confirm whether it's you. Yeah. After that, I give you. 
Wow, okay. So and then... I give you also the product research showing the products. Uh -huh. You take your sign as a farmer. Uh -huh. And also I give you a payment calendar ah. showing how you do pay. Okay, yes. so then I will be paying in installments. In installments, so yes, well, absolutely. Okay, okay. Um, great. What, 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 are, what are your farmers saying? I'm just curious. Are they, what, what, what are some of the good stories that they're saying about what you do? Uh, they do say, oh, we sell uh, genuine seeds mm -hmm. and genuine mm -hmm. fertilizers. Yeah. yeah that's, uh, and, and also, it's growing. Yeah. Farmers, uh, I can say, yearly they are growing. Okay. The number is growing. Meaning, we do offer good services to them. Great. That, that, that is very, very innovative of you. And I see that you also have other implements like solar yes, lights yeah, solar and so lights, on. Uh, charger. Uh, are they also for farmers? Yes, they are farmers and uh, not only farmers. Oh, those are the yeah. Farmers. And all that you can also, um, all these slides you can get them in, on credit. Yes, you can get them on credit. Wow. Yes. I, I might need to um, come and get some lights <laughs> on credit for my farm. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I might, run away. Come, I might run away, but I'm not from <laughs> Kenya. So, um, so I see you have vegetables, yes, so you have corn. Vegetables. What else do you These have? Are drying. These are drying sheets after harvesting. We put the amaze here for drying purposes. And then it dries. And yes. I see you have the wheelbarrow as well. Wheelbarrow, yes. Okay. Yeah. That, 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 that is very, very... And then this is the warehouse. This so warehouse. where you keep this everything. The, the, this is the okay. This is the storage center. Okay. So, not, not to great get crush your interview yeah. however i think it is important to note that drying sheets are important because a lot of loss happens uh. after harvest before getting to market because uh. of the poor drying area sort uh. of area so a lot of the maize gets messed up at that point so it's trying to support um trying to support not only the growing perspective but ensuring the quality huh. as it arrives at market as well yes, make complete sense th th thank you victor uh, I may, maybe I need to hold a camera now, <laughs> but that's a good point. Yeah, yeah um, for, for drive. But what about animals? I see cows and goats walking around all, all, everywhere in terms of drying them on this. Don't we face challenges? About, uh, which one? Like when, when we dry on, 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 on this material, yes, yes. wouldn't the animals come and eat it? No, we do fence, maybe it's a compound. Oh, okay, so it's a fence area. All right, that's 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 great. Um, let's come out of the agriculture a little bit because you know I love containers, guys. Yes. Um, <laughs> why container? And is this like your way, or is it just you who is doing a container, or why? Why container? There is a team which uh, do this, uh -huh. uh, and it's unique now. Yeah, it's, um, and it's universal. Like when you go to other companies like this, the same same company, but other dukas. They have the same same, the same same structure. Yeah. And basically the same same. Okay. So why they? I think they do prefer these containers because they are portable. Yeah. Yes, it can be carried from this place to another. To another, yeah, yes. yeah. That's the main thing. Yeah, think. and it's really really nicely done. Yes. I mean, very very nicely done. Yeah, it's um, I love it, and yes. I don't even feel the heat. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's no heat. Why? Why? It's well fenced. You see the clouds. Yeah. Well sealed with the. Yeah. Yes, food, yes. That is very impressive, guys. Like very people nice. are really doing some cool stuff um, in here, yeah. and I'm so so impressed. Um, thank you, thank you very much, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy you made the time to talk to us. I know this was random, yes, but um, <laughs> was random. I, I, I love. Was, uh, <laughs> yes, you're most welcome in that next time. Th th thank you, thank you. The random ones are mostly the best ones. So. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely. And, um, I've enjoyed this conversation and I hope that you guys have too. Um, you know, somebody have taken the step, guys. Let's innovate. Let's support um, the African continent. One thing I've been sharing a lot is, is the youth, the labor force that we have in Kenya here and, and all across the continent and how we can support them with simple and, you know, very small projects like this somebody somewhere can have seeds and plant and pay you back so thank you guys and i hope this inspires you thank you very much to you thank too. you thank and, you for um, your visit yeah i will definitely send you the link All right.
Thank See you, you guys. So.